Close your eyes, focus on the breath. Think of the breath going all the way down to the body, nourishing the whole body and giving it strength. Because the body meets up with a lot of difficulties in life, and it needs all the strength they can get. There's the strength we get from food, and there's the strength we get from other things in the environment. But the most important part of it is the strength we get from the mind. And that requires that the mind really be skillful, because the mind can also, if it's in bad shape, you know, really harm your strength. So we're trying to get the mind to settle down and gain some strength from within. It's strength of conviction that the training of the mind is a good thing. It's been taught by wise people ever since the time of the Buddha. Persistence in actually making sure that unskillful states don't take over the mind. No matter how difficult things may be outside, you want to make sure that at least your mind has the right attitude to deal with things. That whatever unskillful thoughts come up, you just let them go. Let them go. Hold on to the skillful ones, your conviction, your the Buddha and the Dharma and the Sangha, your conviction in what's good. And then you try to keep that in mind. That's what mindfulness is. Because all too often we know what's good, but then we forget. Things startle us or come rushing at us in one way or another. And if we forget what we really know, the goodness that makes the human heart a good place. So we try to keep that in mind. When we can do that, then the mind can settle down. And it's when the mind is concentrated like this, that's when it gains real strength. That's a real nourishment for the mind. It's like food for the mind. And then there's discernment to figure out how to keep that going in spite of all the other things that happen in life. So remember, the state of the mind is the most important thing. It gives strength to the body, and as well as strengthening itself. That way, whatever comes up in life, you're able to handle it. Pain comes, you can handle it, because you know the pain comes and the pain goes, but your awareness is still there. It doesn't have to be affected by it. When the good things come in life, okay, you know how to handle those as well. As the mind is centered inside, it realizes that its true nourishment comes from within. That way it's able to give nourishment outside as well. To make sure that your life centers around the quality of your mind. And if the quality of your mind is in good shape, then that goodness radiates out to all the people around you. 